Shalom, shalom, brother Randy here. Uh, wanted to do a quick video this first day morning because uh, the question was asked, uh, what are you doing to beautify uh, the land? Now, a lot of people, you know, they, they plant, some plant trees, plant some plant shrubs. Uh, the only thing that I was interested in planting was something that would uh, be beautiful from spring up until frost. Uh, something that uh, uh, you can use for a multitude of reasons, um, whether it's, uh, you know, herbal or uh, something, uh, you know, just something beautiful to look at or, uh, you know, uh, uh, petals or something to bring inside as a floral arrangement inside the house. And uh, out of all of the plants that I can think of, there was nothing more special, nothing more beautiful, nothing more uh, wonderful than that of a rose. And uh, back in South Jersey, I had, uh, you know, rose trellises, rose bushes, rose trees, and uh, I spent a lot of time uh, learning about roses and growing roses. And so when I came out here, I thought, wow, it would be an excellent uh, idea to uh, have a rose garden. And so uh, uh, the beautiful thing about roses also is that you can get them in a multitude of colors. You can get them in purple, pink, orange, yellow, bluish. Uh, you know all different type of colors and as well as you can make the rose itself change color So if you purchase a white rose and you put it in some dye you can change it to pretty much any color that you want But this is uh, October uh, late October And uh, look at this rose right here. I mean, this is what we're talking about a long stem rose Isn't that beautiful? Uh, and this is a uh, what is this a pinkish type orangey uh, uh, color and uh, uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was just purchase, uh, uh, plant roses all around uh, the property. And so this is what I began to do. Um, all different types of color roses. Uh, and I wanted long stem roses. Uh, and here is a uh, uh, red rose. And this is, uh, again, long stemmed rose. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, in the fragrance. Mm. It's beautiful. Smells like candy. Uh, some other yellow roses, they, they're dying back, but uh, there's certain roses, uh, rose plants that I did uh, uh, plant that did not make it. Uh, but that's just the nature of uh, our roses. Not all of them are going to make it. Um, here goes uh, just doing some pruning. But I cut these back uh, for the spring uh, next year. But again, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yellow rose. Smells very good too. Um, yeah, this is the same rose as this one. But very beautiful. Check this one out. Man, could you imagine giving this to your wife uh, every day? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect. Perfect rose. Mmm. Isn't it beautiful? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, they host uh, weddings uh, uh, sometimes at Straightway, and it'd be a beautiful thing instead of having fake roses, have real roses um, and uh, provide them to the saints. And so this is a climbing rose right here. Uh, and all of these rows, what I like about rose bushes as well, is that they're relatively inexpensive. You can purchase a rose bush for $5.99, $6.99 bare root and then grow it up. All of these were planted just as soon as I got here because I wanted to make sure that uh, like fruit trees, this is something that you're going to have to get into the ground as quickly as possible uh, so that uh, it's going to bear that, that, that fruit, that rose, uh, relatively quickly. Um, and so I was able to plant uh, roses all along this path and uh, what I'll do is I'll do a better job of of uh, mulching around them but you know after a rose takes it'll pretty much take so you're gonna mulch up around it we'll do a mulching job up around the bases of the roses for the winter time so that they'll make it through but they're a pretty hardy plant and I have about uh, I would say about 30 uh, or 40 uh, rose uh, bushes going right now but this is this is one of the beautifulest uh, uh, roses I can think of. It comes on a rose tree. So let's uh, see if we can find something that is uh, blooming. 
And as you see at the base of it, this is a, a rose that they have uh, grafted into a tree. And it'll grow up. I had a, a nice rose tree uh, in South Jersey. So, uh, you know, I thought it would be cool to plant uh, some, uh, some more rose trees. Again, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Smells good, too. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, uh, it, it'll be, a, I'll have about, or we'll have here about a thousand roses growing at any given time. Um, and I thought that it was just a good idea, but you see, I mean, these uh, pedestals can be taken off and, uh, you know, make the walkway look nice or whatever, or for dignitaries that come, I mean, whatever, you know, I mean, it's something, something beautiful, something nice to do, you know, uh, it's nothing, it's nothing like, uh, coming, uh, and waking up in the morning time. Uh, to the broom of a thousand roses or, or hundreds of roses growing and uh, to be able to cut it back and take it inside and, and uh, you know, give it, to the, give it to the wife or, you know, or do something uh, uh, herbal uh, with it. And uh, as you see here, I also bought some roses back from South Jersey. These are all climbers, uh, different colors. These are not in bloom right now, but this is a pink one. This is a red one. That's a white one. This is a pinkish white one. So, uh, you know, it, it's just all about that variety and about that burst of color. I like color. I like diversity. Uh, and, it, and it really does uh, give you those options to, um, uh, you, know, uh, you know, beautify the land. And it looks beautiful. Uh, and it smells good. And it works. And, um, you know, you can also, you know, in the springtime, throughout frost, you can sell roses as well. A dozen roses for 12 bucks. So, uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, an, an, well, an additional idea to make some additional income. Um, all for just uh, growing roses. Now, there's uh, some Japanese beetles and things like that that uh, is out here. But uh, I'm creating um, uh, uh, some wire mesh or some mesh to go around. Uh, the rose trees so that um, it will protect them but again I mean it, it, it just works I mean I mean do you see that I mean just could you imagine just uh, having um, some vases uh, all around um, uh, uh, just filled with roses so I just thought that it would be a beautiful thing to do uh, and it is a beautiful thing to do um, and, you know a lot of people work on beautifying their land and it does look beautiful when you know you're again you're able to go on someone else's land and you can see uh, uh, beauty, I mean, it's, it's it's just a wonderful thing. So, um, that's what I'm doing to beautify the land, and I'll be planting more uh, next year, uh, and be it the Father will, more again next year. But by that time, um, uh, those uh, climbing roses will have grown up. I'm going to create trellis systems for them to have this effect that I'd like to accomplish, but um, it works. But, uh, yeah, get out there, grow some roses. Uh, Beats paying for them, beats buying them, and uh, and the ladies love it. Shalom.